Hey everybody, what's up? Rick Poolin here with another motorcycle adventure ride from Maine to Vermont. And from Vermont across the lake to a short little ferry ride to go see Fort Ticonderoga in New York State. Sit back, relax, watch this little video here of a ride to see Fort Ticonderoga, a site that I've always wanted to visit, however never got to, because when I go see my cousins in New York State, it's further New York upstate, and I head to Burlington Vermont and take the Grand Isle Ferry across Lake, Ch Lake Champlain. But in this case, I'm riding to Shore, Vermont. Staying in the Rutland, Vermont area, Shoreham, Vermont is about an hour away to the east, to Lake George and, Lake, and the southern end of Lake Champlain. And this video is all about seeing a little tour of Fort Ticonderoga. Been there since around 1609, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this little adventure ride. Vermont side, as you can see here, scanning the, uh, the area in line, to, uh, waiting to board the, the ferry for a short little 10 minute ride to New York, right across the river. And right across the river lies Fort Ticonderoga, which you will certainly see in just a few minutes. that's been around since 1609 but I've always as I mentioned wanted to visit this fort take a look around and see how life was I was very impressed with this fort the people were very knowledgeable that I spoke to and although I didn't post here the whole time I was at Fort Ticonderoga about two and a half three hours just made this short little video to give you an overview of the area in case you're ever interested in site like I was.
And I might want to mention here that being a veteran of the armed forces of the United States, you are given a little discount. So I appreciated that very much. with the layout of the parking area. Uh, plenty of space to park. Uh, this was a very warm day, very sunny, it was kind of hot. And there are shaded places to park if you can get in there. But I decided to park right up here up front. And as you can see, the fort is straight ahead there. And uh, there's a gift store, a cafe, and a uh, nice place to sit and relax and enjoy the time when you want to sit down and Take a little break as I did inside the fort. But anyway, as you will see, uh, you could really see and understand while you're there the uh, strategic location of how Fort Ticonderoga uh, was built uh, on the uh, north end of uh, Great La uh, the Great Lake, Lake George, and the southern end, southern end of Lake Champlain. It really is a strategic location when you consider that back during the Revolutionary War period, the modern highway system of that year was much like the waterways. Uh, there was no roads, there were no cars. The waterways were the highway system of the Revolutionary War period. So you can see the ingenuity of the engineering and locale of the uh, strategic location of this fort. In the foreground here is Lake George. And on the other side, which you'll see in just a couple of minutes, lies the southern end of Lake George. I was impressed with the high structured walls. Uh, the armament at that time were just cannons and uh, muskets, which you will see. And uh, there was quite a few buildings in there. There were school rooms, there were barracks, uh, living quarters for the, uh, the, the troops that were stationed there. And uh, it seemed for that period of time to be uh, a very nice little place to uh, be stationed at. here it gives you a history of the time of beginning in 1600 uh, of the fort's existence. Of particular note is some signs declared uh, that it was a construction zone and that you must stay away uh, due to falling uh, stones which was used at the time to build the walls uh, were decaying and dropping to the ground so you will see that if you get to the fort and uh, you want to be careful around those areas, of course. Fort Ticonderoga, there is a little museum where they show 
some of the, uh, the artifacts of that time period, the weapons used, uh, the colonial weapons, uh, swords, things like that. And although not everything was captured in this little video here, you get kind of a, an idea of the time frame uh, during the revolution, or the kind of technology that existed there. And then here are the grounds where, not too close by, where uh, the, the dead were buried uh, from the casualties of the fighting that existed. But it is a very beautiful area, it's well maintained, it's kept up very nice. And uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing like I am, uh, interested in uh, the history of certain wars, uh, Revolutionary War, World War I, World War II, and uh, I, I found it a very fascinating place. Again, an area that I always really kind of wanted to visit, so I had a little time uh, over this week, past weekend to, uh, to visit, take a, take a ride from Maine to Vermont, and across the river to New York State. So after about three or four hours or so of uh, riding uh, to the ferry, getting across to the New York State and getting over to Fort Ticonderoga, which is just right across the river. Matter of fact, the ferry, I think, is just called the Fort Ty Ferry. It's that close. Here I am uh, back into Vermont after a few hours uh, walking around Fort Ticonderoga. So, at this point, uh, it was just a little overview of Fort Ticonderoga and some of the sites that you have seen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, I encourage you to subscribe and like the video. This helps the channel. And uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. Here I'm just traveling back to Rutland and headed home back to my home state of Maine from there. So again, I want to thank you for watching the video and we'll see you.